Riding through the grounds of Buchenwald concentration camp in Germany, Ilse Koch spotted a tattooed prisoner and pointed him out to a nearby guard, sealing his gruesome fate. Like many of his fellow inmates, the man would be murdered and stripped of his skin, which would be used to make a lampshade in Koch's home. Sadistic Koch, known as the Witch of Buchenwald, was just one of many women who murdered, maimed, and tortured Jewish prisoners in the Holocaust. Among the 55,000 guards at the concentration camps, 10,000 were women, and they were trained to be every bit as vicious as their male counterparts. Often low-paid workers who took on the roles to earn more cash, they were trained at the all-women Ravensbrück camp in northern Germany, where they became hardened to the cruel torture of inmates and learned to administer punishments with boots, truncheons, whips, and riding crops. Some went on to be involved in administering lethal sterilization experiments. Others helped select victims of the gas chambers, set dogs on young girls, and murdered inmates before incinerating their bodies. This week, a 95-year-old woman was arrested in Germany and charged with complicity in the murders of 10,000 people, the first such case in recent years. The former secretary, who lives in a care home and is unnamed, had worked at the Stutthof camp near Danzig, in Nazi-occupied Poland. She is accused of having assisted those responsible at the camp in the systematic killing of Jewish prisoners, Polish partisans, and Soviet-Russian prisoners of war, between June 1943 and April 1945. Here we look at the horrendous role these guards, known as Offsherens, are female overseers, played during the war. Lampshades made from tattooed skin and real human foot. As the wife of Commandant S.S. Call. Karl Koch, Isle Koch's extreme sadism meant she was as feared as any of the Nazi leaders. The former librarian, from Dresden, was a keen horsewoman who used stolen cash from prisoners to build an indoor riding arena at the Buchenwald camp, which housed 20,000 slave laborers. She was known for whipping prisoners with her riding crop as she rode past and, according to some accounts, forcing them to have sex with her. Ilsa also had a deadly fascination for tattoos, and, at a later trial for war crimes, witnesses said she selected men with the best body art for slaughter, turning their skin into lampshades and book covers. Koch told the court the shades were goatskin, and prosecutors at the trial found there was no evidence to prove they were human flesh. But the Buchenwald Memorial Foundation says two credible witnesses, Austrian prisoner Dr. Gustav Wegerer, who ran the infirmary, and Joseph Ackerman, a political prisoner and secretary of the camp doctor, confirmed the existence of the lamp. Wegerer told the trial that in 1941, a lampshade made of tanned, tattooed human skin was being prepared for coke, and that she arrived at the infirmary, to choose among the available tanned, parchment-thin human skins, the ones with suitable tattoos, for the lampshade. Ackerman, who delivered the lamp, said that its base was made from a human foot and shinbone, and the shade had tattoos and even nipples. The lamp disappeared after the SS leadership found out. Karl Koch was hanged in 1944 for embezzling millions from wealthy Germans, and, in 1950, Ilse was jailed for life in Germany for war crimes. She committed suicide in 1967, 